Hello everybody, I'm Father John Maria from St. Mary's Catholic Church in Kutztown, and welcome to Cooks with Collars. And the dish I will prepare today is another Christmas Eve delicacy for those with Eastern European roots. Um, last year, I know everybody remembers, um, I did that soup from Christmas Eve at Grandma's house. And this year, it's kind of like a sequel, um, kind of like Home Alone Part 2. Similar plot, not as good, but a few good laughs. <laughs> So Christmas Eve was always the best day of the year, and it still is to me now. And um, we just knew it was different. Even the way we went about our family dinner was different. Before we began, everybody had to wash their hands. Now, I guess we didn't wash our hands normally before dinner, but this was special. It was particularly special. My grandparents would put the JFK half dollars in the sink, probably to encourage us to wash our hands but this was a special day. So then we would pray grace before our Christmas Eve feast and you would smell the smell of fish wafting through the air. And then the soup would come, the sauerkraut, the mushrooms, the butter beans. Ew, just see my last year's video. It comes out good, but as a child, not so much. So. For the first 16 years of my life, I did what any other prudent kid would do. I went back and washed my hands. Keep going back to wash your hands. More money, less soup. And so I would always make good money on Christmas Eve. My parents were a little bit concerned about all that hand washing. A few months of therapy, you know, really took care of that. But eventually I grew to love the soup and the fish, but I was particularly thankful as a child for the side dishes, and one in particular, and that's what I'm gonna to make today. The Christmas Eve babalki, and it's a really simple East European uh, delicacy that's that managed to preserve the wonder of Christmas, even through the fog of methane that followed all of that sauerkraut soup. So Christmas Eve babalki, that's what I'll be making today. And basically, they're little bread balls in a, in a papa seed sauce with honey. So it's a traditional East European dish for the Christmas Eve Holy Supper. And as with all East European dishes, including the, the soup that I did last year, there's all kinds of slight variations, but the ingredients for this are really simple. Flour, sugar, salt, butter, milk, papa seed, and honey. So you can see I have my St. Lawrence or Frome apron who's actually the patron saint of grilling, so I, I think I'm kind of flying solo on this. I'm gonna need a sense of humor because babalki, well, you'll see. <laughs> First, there's the baking of the bread. Now, if you're um, a traditionalist, you can go ahead and do that yourself. That's beyond my confidence. Instead, I just went to the giant and got the ready-made bread dough. And what you do is, um, roll it into kind of like uh, braids and cut them into one inch pieces, roughly. You don't want to make them too big because then they get too soft in um, the eventual mixture. And then put them in the oven at about 350 for between 10 and 15 minutes. And after that, take them out, they should be golden brown, and you can let them cool and hang out until the next step. Okay, after about 10 to 12 minutes, they should be golden brown, ready for the next step. All right, after the baking of the bread, next there is the papa seed mixture. And I'm sure, again, there's many purists out there. So if you want to pick up, uh, go up to Pittston and pick up a guy named Virgil Salazzo, and he'll take you over to Turkey and actually get the plant. Um, more realistically, you can grind actual poppy seeds and make the goop. Me, I take a different approach. There's poppy seed a pie filling at the, at the giant. It might not taste quite as good as the actual poppy seed, but it does the job for the papa seed mixture. The consistency ought to be kind of like a thin cream of wheat. 
And so you start with the Papa C pie filling, pie filling uh, or whatever mixture you used. And then you can add some butter and then some uh, scalded milk, not scolded milk, because you don't want, you know, ill feelings on Christmas Eve. Scalded milk, it kind of like uh, just softens and thins the papa seed a little bit. And you could add honey to taste. Now be careful. Um, as you might know, papa seed does have hallucinogenic qualities and we don't want to have um, Christmas at Woodstock. Okay, so the bread balls have been baked and the papa seed mixture is ready. And the consistency with the papa seed, a little bit of the scalded milk, a little bit of honey, um, should be, again, like that thin cream of wheat. So that's ready to pour over the bread balls. And now the bread balls that have been hanging around and um, have just been waiting for the next step need to be softened. And so they can be put into boiling water for just about 10 minutes. Some people pour it into, um, or have them in a colander and just pour the boiling water over it, but they still stay a little bit hard. So uh, my family's approach is to um, actually let them sit in boiling water for about 10 minutes or 10 seconds, not 10 minutes. We're already past 10 seconds. We're in deep trouble. So the bread balls have been softened and the papa seed mixture is ready. Just the right consistency can be poured over and then mixed together. Now, some people like to serve babalki with sweet cabbage or sauerkraut. Why? Why would you do that? We don't do that. But um, babalki is an awesome alternative either to um, uh, an enhancement to the full feast on Christmas Eve or an alternative for those who are choosing to abstain from the fish and the sauerkraut and the mushrooms. And uh, for many years, I was sustained all Christmas with babalki. And um, again, as I mentioned, it does involve a large amount of papa seed. So there you have it, Christmas Eve babalki, a great Christmas treat. I don't recommend scheduling a drug test the following day but it makes for a really great Christmas Eve. So I'm Father John Maria from St. Mary's in Kutztown. Don't forget, vote early and vote often for Cooks with Collars. God bless.